Hi, my name is Alex here with Junkin Disorderly and I'm making my first YouTube video about my side hustles. I just wanted to take you all along and show you how easy it is and anyone can do it um, if you just take the time. I flip things online for a profit. I go to garage sales, yard sales, thrift stores, shop on Facebook Marketplace, pretty much anywhere that I can get anything for pretty cheap and flip for a profit. And there have definitely been some highs and lows, but I just wanted to take y'all along this journey and show y'all anyone can pick it up and do it. There's a lot of stuff out there to be found. Hey, I'm back and I'm just going to show you the haul portion of the video that you saw previously. And I'm also going to show you a few things that I picked up a couple days ago at a different thrift store. So I got this picture, this large, it says Disney babies and it has all the Disney babies, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Pluto, which picture from the early 90s. I'm not sure if this is something, since it's so large, if I wanna ship it, and because of the glass, if it's going to break, but I think I'm probably going to be putting this in one of the antique booths. I spent $7 on it. I do think I'm going to be listing this for hmm, anywhere between 30 and $40. And I also have another one, this Beauty and the Beast one. If y'all can see that there. This one is also vintage from the 90s. Um, 
1993, I think this one was from, and I also paid $7 for this one. Um, I'm also going to put this in one of the antique booths. I might put both of them together in the same antique booth and list it also around between $30 to $40, just depending. I did look up comps, um, and I did see one. I did look up comps and I did see one on Etsy, I think, or maybe it was eBay, I can't remember. I think it was selling for like $35, so. And in the video, you probably would have seen this lamp. It does work, but the shade is a little dirty, but um, I do think that this one is a vintage one, just looking at the contact here it looks and, and i think this one is wrought iron it feels a lot like wrought iron and i think when i looked up comps on this it was called kapali i want to say it was if i can remember um and this one had comps ranging anywhere between 30 to the hundred dollar range um i don't think i'm gonna be selling this one online because it's so large and i'm not an expert on shipping and i just don't feel like shipping this so i think i am gonna put this one in the antique booth because i'm new with the antique booth i'm not sure the prices yet or where i'm gonna be with the prices so i'm gonna say anywhere between 30 and 40 dollars maybe i might do 50 dollars it just depends and I have three bags here. I can find the other one. Three vintage bags. So I have this vintage coach bag. Um, I picked up at a garage sale last weekend. Um, the strap on this one is cut. It's supposed to be longer. And the strap does have some like bite marks or something on it or rip marks I don't know so I'm not sure I'm gonna be listing this one online I'm going I'm thinking maybe between 20 and 30 dollars I think I paid a dollar for this one so it's not too bad this one is a vintage Dooney and Burke bag it does have the little hang tag duck here I did wash all three of these bags this one kind of smells like I don't know, old or mothballs. So I'm not sure. It's in actually pretty good condition. I did condition it. It does still have like some dryness around the edges and it is really a nice one. A lot of these vintage Coach and Dooney bags can sell for a lot because there's a lot of collectors out there. Um, I haven't looked this particular one up and I think I pay like one or two dollars at the same garage sale as the other one. I'm gonna say between 25 and 35 dollars. Um, like I said, I haven't looked up comps so I'm not 100% sure um, on comps on that one. I don't think it's a rare bag but I could be wrong. Now I did also get this super large uh, vintage coach bag. It does have some like marks here on the brass. And, the, and on the other part, I don't know where it, it doesn't have the hang tag. I might price this one at $50 maybe, just because it has the smell, it has the wear on the brass, and a little bit lower just for a quicker sell. But I'll do comps on that one. And I also got this picture. Um, it's like a, I don't know if this is velvet, but um, right here on the back, it says wolf and moon made in the US. I probably am going to post this one in my Etsy shop and also take it to one of the antique booths near me so I can have like better exposure, I guess. It is a really cool picture and I do really like the whole wolf uh, picture. I guess we'll see how that does. Um, and then I got this um, 
This one actually still has the original price tag on it for $4.99, I think. But this is a mirror. Um, it's very dirty. It has these, um, I guess like to hang up a purse or a coat. I don't know. This is probably for something really light. Um, and it does say made in Taiwan up here. So this one is vintage. Um, I sold something similar to this um, in the antique booth for $25, I think, and I paid $5 for it. I'm probably going to list this one also in my Etsy shop and take it to the antique booth, probably list it for between $25 and $30. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see how that does. Um, and then I got more pictures. Um, as you can see, I do like picking up these vintage pictures um, because I, I'm i not <laughs> well, I guess, researched in antique booths. I just barely opened two up. I think I have, have had them for maybe one month. I do like to buy a lot of vintage stuff just because it's unique and so I'm thinking maybe around the $30 mark and I have this other purse here it is um, a red bucket drawstring bag it is by the sack and I think this was like seven dollars at a different Goodwill it's in like new condition I don't typically pick up the sack bags because they don't really sell for a whole lot um but this one since it doesn't have like any marks it looks new it's drawstring it's a bucket bag it does have these little turquoise uh ta tassel things on the side i'm thinking it might do good i'm probably going to list this between 30 and 40 dollars and accept the best offer um, usually I send out a lot of offers um, because I like the quick flip instead of the long haul usually for most of the things. Um, and then I also got this, um, let me see, it's a vintage Pyrex mixing bowl. Um, I have actually um, found quite a few of these, not this uh, style in particular, but I did find um, I think it was the primary color set and I believe it was four different bowls and I paid like four dollars for the primary set one and they sold I posted them on Etsy literally sold within two days I think and it sold for like a hundred and ten dollars I was very nervous shipping it out because I never ship usually anything um, breakable because <laughs> I just don't wanna, you know, have any issues with damage along the way. I'm thinking it's gonna be in the $20-ish range unless that's a rare one, which I, I don't think so. Um, and then I will probably take it to my antique booth also. I have a couple of those Pyrex bowls up there, just the single ones. They don't usually sell for as much as if you have like um, the whole set. Um, and then I also got some of these Poppy Trail by Metlox plates. They're like a Southwest print design. And I think these are stoneware. Um, it's like the saucer plate. I think I got like seven of them. They were 77 cents each. Um, I don't know. I've never sold <laughs> plates like this before. I've never uh picked up saucers um that didn't have like cups to go with it so i'm not sure how good these are going to do since they are a southwest print design and these are vintage they might end up doing good um i was thinking about posting these on etsy for um i guess like a separate listing like say that i have like eight of them available. I was thinking about posting them for like $5 each or something, or maybe um, if someone wants to purchase the whole lot, maybe like 40 bucks um, 
for all of the plates. So I think that's pretty good. 77 cents into $5 in my head. The math is adding up and seeming like a good profit. Um, but I guess I will see once I post them to see how good they do. And um, this one is a CSI, what is this one? CSI Las Vegas. Um, this one is on the Delta Pro Weights tag. And usually when I see this tag, um, normally it is a vintage tag. And um, this one ended up obviously being vintage because this one does have the single stitching here. I don't know if it's even gonna come across, but this one is vintage and does have a single stitch. And I'm not exactly sure when, what year this particular one was from. The early 2000s, I think. I know these shows have been going on forever, but I think this one is early 2000s. I think I paid three or four dollars for that one. This one is another vintage shirt. So I, this one was right next to the CSI shirt and this one also, well actually the tag is cut out of this. So I'm not sure what brand this one is, but it does have the single stitching again. And honestly, this one, I did a Google lens search. I grabbed it, number one, because I thought the skeleton was cool. And then when I was looking at it, I thought it could be, Ghost Rider because he does have the the leather jacket on and when I put it into the Google lens it came up as I can't remember what the tag was but like something Marvel and similar results show that it was a Ghost Rider so if that one is in fact a Ghost Rider it could be worth like a hundred dollars maybe i think i had to do comps again and the csi one anywhere between 20 and 50 bucks so those were good and that one was also four bucks um this one is just a wolf shirt um but this one is by the brand 3d let's see 3d mountain tea what does this say 3D Tees by The Mountain. And I've had, I've heard a lot of people talk about this brand on YouTube saying that it brings really great money and yada, 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 but I don't think it brings great, great money. Maybe there might be other shirts that bring in more money, but I think maybe 20 to $25 maybe on that one. So that's okay, I guess. Um, and then this I picked up, it's a Ray Dunn piece. It is the, like the thyme and rosemary, what are these called? The, um, I can't think of what they're called off the top of my head. But anyway, so these are Ray Dunn. It comes with a little basket. I'm not an expert either on Ray Dunn pieces, but I do know some can sell better than others. This one was, Six dollars for the set and it came with a little carrying basket so I saw people selling them on Etsy I know this is not vintage or handmade but I think I saw someone selling it for like sixty dollars I honestly don't even know um thirty to thirty five dollars I'd be happy. um and then I got this a scarf it's a Madewell scarf <clears throat> this one does have like a clearance tag of $25 from Nordstrom rack I think I might try to peel this off um, and I think this was on sale for like 250 but $25 for it or I might just end up keeping it for myself I don't know yet <laughs> oh, I don't know yet <laughs> Awesome. Well, I did pick up this Pier 1 plate um, from the footage, but it just broke, so 
yeah, so this is a this is a no go, but um but this one does have a price tag from Pier One for fifteen dollars or something, and it's like a chip and dip bowl with elephants, like an elephant print on it. Some of this Pier One stuff, since they don't have Pier One anymore, is collectible, so some of the stuff can sell for good money. And I think this one was selling like sixty bucks, and I think I paid yeah seven dollars for it, but now it's broken, so now I'm not gonna have <laughs> that anymore. Um, and then I also got this. Um, pink like a serving um plate uh like depression glass four bucks i'm not sure who the maker is of this one i don't think it has i don't see a maker's mark i have other pink depression glass dishes that i posted on my etsy and also that i post that i took to the antique booth some of the pink dishes, the depression glass, can sell for some good money. This one I paid four dollars. I don't know <laughs> if this one was a good pickup or not. I might try to sell it for like twenty to twenty-five dollars since it's only one plate. Usually, when I pick up uh, like the dishes, I like to get a whole set, but. Um, this one I saw and I thought since I have the other dishes, I might grab it and someone else might purchase them all together. I don't know. Um, and then in the video, you probably would have saw me pick up this little, um, like ceramic trinket dish. Um, and it's like, I guess it is a trinket dish cause it does open. You probably saw me tapping on it to see if it was like wood or ceramic or what it was, but this is the inside. And it does have made in Mexico on the bottom. So it's like um, Talavera pottery. I don't know if this is vintage or not, but I thought that this was still pretty cute and cool. Maybe someone might want it. I paid $5 for it. Um, 20 to 25 dollars maybe i think and then i picked up these two uh talavera mexican pottery um i think someone posted it as pots they were four dollars each and i don't know i'm thinking maybe 20 to 35 dollars i'll post them on ebay i don't know about ebay i'll post them on etsy maybe take them to the antique booth also and in the video, you probably saw these horses. Maybe my editing skills aren't that good yet, but um, yeah, I picked up these two wooden uh, rocking horses. Um, this one, I can't really read the price. It was $2 or $3 possibly, this green one. And then I picked up this little smaller brown wooden one. Um, um, I figured I'd give these a shot. Um, I am learning about the antique booths and Etsy, so I'm not sure what is going to sell on there and what's not, but I think these would be cute in like a nursery or like a kid's room or something. Um, and horses uh, usually do well. And then I saw this John Deere uh, tractor and wagon. I don't even know. Um, now, a lot of these John Deere, uh, these vintage ones, uh, like the die cast ones can do really, really good. Um, I'm talking like $70 plus. Um, I'm assuming this one is vintage. It does have like the words somewhere on here. I can't remember where I saw it. Um, and it does have like the numbers and stuff. Um, I paid $7 for this. I'm not 100% sure what this is going to bring. I'm probably going to list it on Etsy and eBay. Maybe take this to the antique booth. I'm not sure. And I might post it between $35 to $65, depending on what the comps look like. But um, they were kind of all over the place, actually, and a lot of them were on auction. So I'm not sure. I usually like to do buy it now. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens with that. Then I got this, I think it's a toucan. Uh, I think it's like a driftwood art. It feels like wood. And I bought two other, 
I think there were two other birds that were similar to this, but this one actually is painted with color. The other ones I don't think were. This one was $4. Um, Driftwood Art can do pretty good too. I'm yet to sell it, but I'm thinking maybe 25 to 35 maybe. And probably gonna take that to the antique booth also. And I also have this Harry Potter plush. I think this was Dobby. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan, um, so I'm not too familiar with the um, names and the characters, but it does have like the Harry, Harry Potter sticker down here somewhere. And um, actually this one, was um i think it was like a dollar but this one was selling for 30 40 50 bucks i think but i'm not sure how much i'm gonna post this one i'm gonna say 30 dollars just to give an answer because i'm not 100 percent sure um and then i picked up this uh vintage this is also a vintage like you can tell by the tag the way it looks made in the usa 100 percent cotton it's a vintage Halloween scarecrow, pumpkin, uh, black cat, uh, some of the keywords that I'll probably be using. Um, sure, might keep it, I don't know, but it does have the single stitching here and it actually feels new, like it's never been worn before. Um, so yeah, maybe 20 to $30. Uh, on that one. And then I did pick up this Aladdin, this Disney Aladdin shirt. Um, let me see. This is, I don't know if this was from the Disney store or the theme park. Maybe not. It just says Disney princesses on it. Um, honestly, I'm not sure how this one is going to do. If this one doesn't have good comps because I haven't looked it up yet, um, I might just keep it for myself, but uh, 20 to $25 maybe. And um, I think that was it. I think that's all that I bought it. And if you could just comment or like or, or subscribe to this video, that would really help me a lot since I'm just starting my YouTube channel and I intend to make more videos like these or just comment down below. Let me know what y'all would like to see.